Hello and welcome to the short Vard on Parsha's Truma from Hamishi to Shishi. In Perech Havav, Pasuk Lamed He, we discuss inside the Mishkan, the Shulchan, and then the Menorah, and then the Shulchan again. It says, V'samtas ha-Shulchan nechut la-Parochas. You put the Shulchan on the table outside the Parochas, and that's a Menorah nochach ha-Shulchan. Then you have the Menorah placed opposite the table. I'll tell a Mishkan Teman, and I'll be to the south side. Shulchan, then we revert back to discussing the table. Titan al tzel tzafon. The table will be on the north side. So we have a uh, a medrash that says that if you want to become wise, then you pray to the south, which is connected to the menorah, which represents or hatorah. If you want to become wealthy, you pray towards the north, which is towards the shulchan, representing business. And uh, the question, one question we've seen is, is that uh, north or south is where you dive in? I thought you're supposed to dive in east towards Yushalayim, and if you're in the other direction, you face Yushalayim from, from facing west. So why is it north and south? Don't we supposed to do like more like an east or west? So one answer I heard to explain this is because that, and please check the halakhic veracity, I heard it from a second-hand source, that when it comes to davening, you can daven in any direction with your feet, and if you want wealth, then you go north, with the corresponding to the shulchan. If you want wisdom, then you do south, uh, corresponding to the, shul- the menorah or, t- or Torah. But you face your face towards Yushalayim, whichever way that it is, east or west. So you can have these different things combined. Now, in Oznayim the Torah, they ask, why is it talking about the, men- the shulchan, then menorah, and then go back to the shulchan? Why is it just talking about the shulchan first, and then the menorah uh, afterwards? Usually you keep the items together and not go back and forth. So one lesson we learn is that in Ein Kemach in Torah, that first you have to have your Parnasa, your support, and then you can learn Torah, and therefore it matches what Hashem does. Hashem in this world creates the guf first, the physicality, and then he blew Nishmas Chaim into it. But first you have to have the, the Gashmias. But the other side is also true, that in Ein Torah in Kemach, that you have to make sure that once you have the that that you learn Torah, because otherwise you really won't be very successful in in your parnasa. And this actually matches something with the Nitziv in the Haimek Davar says that why does it go back and forth uh, the menorah twice and in between the menorah the say the shulchan twice and in between the menorah to tell you that first to get a basic level you need a basic level of of parnasa and then you can learn and then if you learn well, then you have the potential to go to an even higher level, the second mention of the Shulchan, and that's Ashiras. But first comes Parnasa, then Torah, and then is the potential for Ashiras. May we be successful in both our Torah and our Parnasa. So thank you for listening. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbos.